three, four years ago, I was working uh, pretty long hours. My, I'd always been fit most of my life and um, exercised in various ways. And I was starting to um, have some health issues and not work out. And I was, it was starting to feel bad fast. Um, I had done P90X and so I had tried to kind of restart that program um, at home and I um, just wasn't having good luck with it. It would go for two or three weeks and then I would uh, fall off and um, have to start over again and I ran, um, so it happened to be the year uh, my son was graduating, but I went to a graduation party and ran into an old soccer mom friend um, who said she was working at Adrenaline Sports Fitness, and um, I asked her what that was like, and it sounded a little P90X-ish, but um, there was like a classroom environment, and um, I tried it for 21 days, and that really that really was the springboard for me getting back on board. I didn't know it at the time, but I really needed to be in a group. I didn't need to do it alone anymore. Um, all my workouts had been alone, running, um, the videos, uh, and it wasn't that it was bad, but it was that I needed a group to kind of hold me accountable. Um, and so, since then, I, I've had some roller coaster rides, still have on and off some health issues, uh, but um, I, I like the variety that I'm experiencing now. I still do running and um, various things on the side, but I just, um, I need to be working out uh, consistently for the rest of my life. Uh, I think if I don't, I'm just going to run into more health issues. I don't have any hard and fast strategies. Um, I, I mean, sometimes the night before I know I'm going to work out at 6.30, then I have to set my alarm to make sure I wake up in time to get here. Um, if more than five days have, have gone by without me working out, um, which can happen because uh, I, we travel sometimes As in real estate, I have to be flexible and meet people when they need meeting and um, so sometimes it, it just happens I'll go some days but then I get really intentional like I try not to go more than seven days ever without doing a workout uh, so yeah I, I don't have a, a really um, big strategy but I am highly committed that I'm working out um, for the regularly for the rest of my life I do probably quarterly detoxes, um, where it's where I eat really clean for a limited period of time, like uh, usually cutting out anything that's kind of a known inflammatory response in the body, um, alcohol, sugar, flour. Um, during those time periods, I eat pretty much um, just brown rice or quinoa, <clears throat> with protein, um, two cups of vegetables, and then um, most of them involve like maybe a fruit smoothie in the morning with lots of fiber and some other nutrients. Um, I, when I'm not detoxing, I try and allow myself to have what I want to have within moderation. Uh, last year I went a little nuts on the sugar, so I'm really trying hard now to rein that in. So it's going well now. Um, I also, like when I tend to feel bad in some way, I do a lot of research and find out what herbal supplements might be useful. I don't like to take medications. I do take one, um, I take a blood pressure pill. I do have hypertension. And um, so I kind of, I have like a regular fruit and vegetable supplement that I do that is really just uh, powdered fruit and vegetables. Uh, the nice thing about those is they have some enzymes in them and 
help with digestion and things like that. Um, I also, um, I vary between taking kind of like a fish oil supplement at times. Usually I do that just after a detox. Um, and then as far as anything else, I kind of go in and out of things depending on what I'm feeling. Uh, lately, I've been feeling kind of um, sluggish and my uh, metabolism is down. And I attended a seminar recently and I'm doing iodine. Um, so I've only been doing that a week, but I am noticing a little bit of difference in energy levels. And so yeah, I play with things a lot. Um, and I just kind of do that through the internet or um, there's a couple local health stores that host people that come in. I'm not a good preparer the night before, but I do typically start each day knowing what I plan on doing. Um, I will say I, I used to be in corporate and I walked away with that uh, about three years ago um, just because it was very, it wasn't, it wasn't working in my life. Um, it wasn't allowing me time to work out and take care of myself in the way I knew I needed to. Um, but I balance about six or seven things. Um, I, I am in real estate and I've recently begun rehabbing. Um, I also do some direct sales and offer like legal and identity theft protection services. Um, my mom is in a nursing home and I'm power of attorney and that's in Cleveland, so that's travel. I um, manage my company, my family's um, real estate company, and those real estate properties are distant in Alabama. And uh, I do our kind of home management finances, which um, should be simple, but they aren't. I mean, we have two kids in college, and um, so there's just a lot going on. So. I'd like to say I'm very good at allotting time for all of those things. I'd like to say that I balance all that work, but really it, most of the time it, it goes on a as-needed basis, firefighting, whatever's hottest at the moment kind of gets the attention. Um, so yeah, I, I do consider myself to have kind of a high stress life and that's also why working out to me is really important, like it helps to bring that um, level of stress down. It helps to keep me even keel. What you do and decide to do on a daily basis doesn't really make a difference for any given day. But over time, it, it makes a big difference. Like it's similar to interest compounding in the bank. So I treat my workouts like they're important like if I don't work out for a very long time that's not the habit I want to create so I get back into the workout cycle quickly um, and then uh, as with all things in life why you're doing what you're doing is very important um, I really wasn't a very fit teenager I mean I wasn't I didn't have any problems like obesity or anything like that, but I didn't make exercise or fitness a priority. Um, but when I was in my late teens, my mother started to become ill and I started to see what it's like when um, people don't work out. Like she used to work out and do these aerobic classes and then she stopped and very quickly she put on weight. Within a couple years she was diabetic. Um, she started to have rheumatoid arthritis at a very young age, 35, and um, I knew, I started to notice at that time that work out, working out was kind of a key to holding back certain things. Like, she would say, well, genetically, this is kind of what I've been dealt, and I kind of, I didn't buy the end to that. Like, I feel like, yep. Genetically, I'm predisposed to all those things she has. And again, I've experienced little tads of them, and that really keeps me on center. So you've got to have something bigger, stronger than 
I want to lose weight or um, you got to really have a, a strong goal and a big why. Why am I doing what I'm doing? And that is if you're not regular and if you're not um, kind of making work out a priority, it's because nothing serious enough has happened to get you there yet.